Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Today, my children, we're going to continue with questions and answers. Remember, the word question in Spanish means pregunta, and the word answer in Spanish, respuesta. So, today, we remember that we have two forms of answering a question. When, um, when something is true, we're going to say, yes, it is, or we can also say affirmative. When something is not true, when algo no es verdad, we can say, no, it isn't, or we can also say negative. For this exercise, we're going to use, yes, it is, no, it isn't. So I'm going to tell you an example. This one right here. Is it a television? No, it isn't. Is it a marker, color red? Yes, it is. Very good. So, today we're going to make an activity that is part of your teddy book. It's located in this page. This is the page right here. So, if you want to work along with the teacher, si quieren trabajar junto al teacher, you have five seconds to grab your teddy book and to grab pencil and colors, okay? I'm going to count to five so you can pick it up. One, two, three, four, and five. Once you have your book, you're going to open it and you're going to be here in this page, okay? Ready? Very good, let's start. So once again, the instructions are next. Here, we have several questions. Next to the questions, we have geometric shapes. Now, the question is related to the geometric shape. For example, the, the number one, it says right here. Is it a triangle? Yes, it is. Number two, is it a circle? No, it isn't, okay? Now, let's, con let's start with the exercises. Now, there are five questions. Let's answer them. The first question, it says, is it a cone? And we have next to, we have the geometric shape. Now, check it. Is it a cone? Yes, it is. Let's write the answer. Yes, comma, now the comma, it's a point, it's a, a symbol that indicates separation. Because remember, we can't write it all together. No podemos escribir todo junto. We have to make separations. And the comma, it's a symbol that it indicates that. Yes, it is. That's the first answer, okay? Very good. Let's continue with the number two. Is it a square? Let's check the images and one more time. Is it a square? Yes, it is. Once again, yes, comma, it is. Very good, excellent. You are doing a terrific job. Let's continue with the number three. Number three, it says, is it an oval? Is it an oval? No, it isn't because this geometric shape is a triangle. So the answer, no, comma, it isn't. Very good. Let's continue with the number four. Number four, it says, is it a cylinder? This subject right here, is it a cylinder? Yes, it is. Yes, comma, it is. Now remember, the cylinder, it's a geometric shape, a three-dimensional geometric shape, and one object that looks like a cylinder is a glass, a plastic or um, a glass that is made of crystal. And inside the glass, we use it to drink a liquid. Let's continue with number five. Number five, it says, 
Is it a diamond? Remember the diamonds are also called rhombus. So one more time. Is it a diamond? Yes, it is. Yes, comma, it is. Very good. Was it easy or difficult? Was very, very easy. Okay? Now, this is the correct form that you have to answer it in your textbook. But what happens if we want to use affirmative or negative? Let's answer them in that form, but only uh, in oral mode. Solo de manera oral. No lo vamos a escribir, vamos a practicarlo de manera oral. Um, utilizando affirmative and negative. Okay? Very good. So, again, the first question. Is it a cone? Affirmative. Number two. Is it a square? Affirmative. Number three. Is it an oval? Negative. Because this is a triangle. Is it a cylinder? Affirmative. And let's continue with the last one. Is it a diamond? Affirmative. Very good. Excellent. So you can use yes, it is, or affirmative. You can use no, it isn't, or negative. But for your activity of the Teddy Book, para las actividades de su Teddy Book, yes, it is, no, it isn't. That's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. Don't forget that these questions, you can also apply them or practice them in your house. Okay, you can pick an object, ustedes pueden utilizar un objeto, mostrárselo a sus padres, a sus hermanos o a sus amigos y hacer la pregunta. Is it an eraser or is it a rectangle? You can pick a toy, for example, podemos agarrar un, un juguete and you can show it. Uh, is it a princess? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. You can practice it at home. Okay, very good. So, take care, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. Goodbye.